Welcome back to Stock Investing with Obermott. Today we publish the Obermott Top 10 list of France. That means we see all the French stocks in a top 10 list. Because it's the cock all, the index that includes all the stocks, we see large stocks and small stocks on the top 10 list. You have it here in front of you, I make it a little bit bigger. You can see there are companies that are very small, like Sword is a small company, or even DNX Corp, an extra small company. And there are only a few XL or XXL companies. Gemalto, application software, for instance. You know that I'm a little bit hesitant with the technology companies. They're very difficult to judge. Upper arm uh, in steel, we already have a steel company from Belgium, so that's not so interesting. ST Microelectronics, maybe that's something I'm going to look at in more detail at another time because today I'm pressed for time. I see Airbus, Airbus, a very large company, right in front of me on place 10 of the Obermott top 10 list. And when I look at Airbus in detail, I can see that everything is green. You know, as a matter of fact, it was not always the fact, uh, the case. In 2013 and 14, Airbus was in the red and yellow zone, which means it was expensive and it didn't grow much and it was heavily exposed to that. But now in 2015 and 16, it's all green. It's, it's a really uh, good company. And what I can do now, I could actually Google this. You know, we can Google here the news for Airbus. And what I see is a lot of stuff that are ac is actually not that important. If you go to all, so if you go to the result, uh, all Google results for Airbus stock, you see a lot of research on the Airbus stock. Unfortunately, most of that research is quite limited in terms of durability. They're looking at the question, is Airbus a good stock to buy, buy right now? And that's actually something I'm not that interested in because I'm interested in the long term. And the long term uh, is actually a lot easier to assess. Airbus is going to stay because it's protected by the European community. We want our own air, um, air, uh, air manufa airplane manufacturer here in Europe. China has one, you know, and the US has one. And I think this is probably the future. The airspace industry is probably most likely to stay for the near future, which means Airbus is going to provide healthy and long returns. That's very likely. I invest in Airbus without any further research and I hope I was able to show you that if you look at the long term, stock investing is actually quite easy. Good luck with your own investing. See you next time.